Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on pie charts. It says that a community center organized a racial harmony fair through which it collected a sum of $5,880. The pie chart below shows the amount of money collected by the various stalls. All right, so we've got a pie chart here and each of these individual slices here represent the amounts collected by each of the individual stalls. All right, so this is the slice for the drink stall and it tells us that the drink stall collected $882. The slice for the food stall is quite obviously bigger than the slice for the drink stall and uh, the amount that it collected is obviously then higher than the amount collected by the drink stall and uh, the amount that the food stall collected was $2,352. The games and the souvenir stalls, we don't know right now how much they collected but we'll find out later, all right? Okay, now we've got a certain number of questions here. Let's see, we have about six questions here that are related to this pie chart and uh, we'll try to solve them one by one, okay? So the first question says, find the sum of money collected by the game stall okay so we got to find out what the value of this stall over here is equal to all right now how to find that out well we actually have a hint here and the hint is this right angle mark here now we learned in a previous lesson that this right mark on this slice of the pie tells us that its value is equal to a quarter of the whole pie so the game stall collected a quarter of the amount collected by all the stalls together a quarter of the whole pie it's equal to a quarter of the whole pie which means it's equal to one-fourth of five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars because the whole pie stands for five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars because as all the stalls together they collected five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars and the game stall collected a quarter of that so it's equal to one fourth of five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars all right now what's that equal to well i'm going to use a calculator so we don't spend too much time calculating but if you're not allowed to use a calculator in school then you must do the calculation on pen and paper okay so five thousand eight hundred and eighty divided by four well that's equal to one thousand four hundred and seventy dollars so a quarter of 5,880 is 1,470. So the game stall collected $1,470. And that's the answer to your question. Okay. All right, that's the end of the first question. Let's see what the next question is. All right. So let me make some room here before I bring up the next question. Okay. Here we go. The next question is, what percentage of the total money was collected by the souvenir stall? Okay, that's another unknown, the souvenir stall. We don't know how much the souvenir stall collected, but we can find that out easily, right? Because we know that all the four stalls collected $5,880 together, and we know how much the other three collected. So we just subtract that amount from $5,880. So the souvenir stall collected $5,880 minus what the drink stall collected, minus what the food stall collected, minus what the game stall collected. Okay, so it's equal to this and I'll use the calculator one more time, 5,880 minus 882 minus 2,352 minus 1,470 and that's $1,176. So this is $1,176, how much the souvenir stall collected. All right. Now, we don't have to find out how much it collected. What we have to find out is the percentage of the total money that it collected. And uh, that was just the first step, okay, to finding out the percentage. Well, how do you find out the percentage? Well, that's how much it collected and what the total collection was, okay? So how much it collected over the total collection times 100. That will give us the percentage of the total money that the souvenir stall collected. So 1,176 we already have there divided by 5,880 times 100. So that's 20%. So the souvenir stall collected 20% of the total money. Okay, so if the whole of the pie is equal to 100%, then the slice that represents the collection by the souvenir stall is 20% of the whole pie. That's what it means, okay? Right, quite easy. Let's see what the third question is. Okay, so I make some room here first. 
Okay, the next question is, what fraction of the total money was collected by the food stall? Okay, what fraction of the total money? Now, how much did the food stall collect? Well, the food stall collected 2,352 over what the total collection was. The total collection was 5,880. So, that's the answer actually, you know. 2,352 over 5,880. But we don't want to keep it at that. We want to simplify that, right? So, if we make the denominator as 1, what will happen to the numerator? Well, we'll have to divide the numerator by the denominator. As simple as that. So, we do that. 2,352, that's the amount collected by the food stall, divided by the total collection, which is 5,880. So, that's 0 0.4. So, this is equal to 0 0.4 over 1. Now, this is a decimal number, okay? And we don't want a decimal fraction. We want a fraction that has got whole numbers, right? So, what we can do is we can multiply this by 10 and this by 10 because that will give us a whole number, right? We move the decimal point one place to the right here and we get 4 here over 1 times 10 is 10. So, the fraction is 4 over 10, which we can simplify further by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So that's 2 over 5. Okay, I hope you understand how the simplification works. It's not that big a deal. Just watch the lessons that I did on fractions and you can also check on our website, okay? All right, so this is the fraction of the total money that was collected by the food stall. Now, what does that mean? Well, what it means is that if I take this whole pie over here, okay, and draw it one more time over here, okay, not quite as nice, but I hope you can understand what I'm trying to do. So I take this whole pie one more time and if I divide it into five slices, five slices because the denominator is five, right? So if I cut it up into five slices, okay, then two out of those five slices will be how much the food stall collected. So this is together, these two are equal to 2,000 three hundred and fifty two dollars that's the collection by the food stall and the fraction of the whole is two out of five all right this is what it means the fraction of the total money collected by the food stall is two over five all right quite easy right now let's see what the next question is so i erase this one here make some room All right, the next question is, what fraction of the total money was collected by the drink stall? Quite similar to the previous question, okay? So, the drink stall collected $882 and the total collection was 5880 So, what is this fraction equal to? Well, it's equal to 882 divided by 5880 exactly like how we did the previous question. So, this is equal to 0. 1, 5. Now, again, we change this decimal fraction to a fraction that has got whole numbers. How do we do that? We multiply this by 100 and this also by 100. So, move it two places to the right. The decimal point, this will be 15 over 100. And yes, we can simplify this further. If we divide each of these by 5, 15 divided by 5 is 3 and 100 divided by 5 is 20. So, the fraction of the total money collected by the drink stall is 3 over 20, okay? Which means that if we take this pie again and divide it into 20 slices, then three of those slices will represent the amount of money collected by the drink stall, okay? Quite easy, actually. Quite similar to the previous question we did. All right, so that's that about this question. Let's see what the next question is. The next question is, what percentage of the total money was collected by the food and drink stall? By the food and drink stall. So that means two stalls together, the food one and the drinks one. Now, how much did they collect together? Well, together they collected 2,352 plus 882, right? The food stall collected 2,352 and the drink stall collected 882. So together that would be equal to, let's see, 2 plus 2 is 4, 8 plus 5 is 13, so 3 and 1 carried over, 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 1, 12, and one carried over, and two plus one is three. So together, the food and drink stalls, they collected $3,234. Now, what percentage of the total money is that equal to? Well, that's equal to 3,234 
over 5,880 times 100%. Now, let's see. I'm going to use the calculator one more time. 3234 divided by 5880 times 100 is 55%. So 55% of the total money was collected by the food and the drink stall. So we're saying that if the whole pie is equal to 100%, then these two slices, the drinks and the food stall is 55% of the whole pie. Okay, that's what it means. Well, let's uh, move on to the last question. Let me make some room here first. All right, now here is the last question. It reads, what was the ratio of the sum of money collected by the food and drink stalls to the sum of money collected by the game stall? All right, so here what we have to do is find the ratio of the sum of money collected by the food and drink stalls together to the money collected by the game stall. All right, now we know from the previous question that the food and drink stalls together, they collected $3,234. And the game stall we know collected $1,470 from here, right? So this is the ratio, 3,234 to 1,470. But we don't leave it at that because these two numbers are too big to make any sense. So what we do is we simplify them. So one way is to start dividing each of these numbers by 2 and 3 and 5 and 7 and 9, 11 and so on. Or here is a quick trick. What we'll do is divide each of these numbers by the smaller of the two numbers. The smaller of the two numbers means 1470 in this case. So I divide this by 1470 and this as well by 1470 and let's see what we get. Well on the right side we get 1 because the number divided by itself gives you 1 and on the left side 3234 divided by this what do we get? Well we use a calculator for that. So here is the calculator 3234 divided by 1470 is equal to 2.2. So that tells you that for every $2.2 that the food and drink stalls collected, the game stall collected $1. Now that's the answer and if you want you can stop at this, it will be perfectly alright. Or if you want you can make this decimal number a whole number. Okay, so change this ratio so that this number is not a decimal number, but it's a whole number. Now, how do we do that? Well, if we multiply this number by 10, it will become a whole number because there's just one digit after the decimal point. So we multiply this by 10, make it a whole number. Then we multiply this as well by 10. And what we get is we get 22 to 10. If you want, you can again simplify this to smaller whole numbers. So here's what we are doing. We're dividing each of these numbers by two. So 22 divided by 2 is 11. Okay, I'm writing it here on the right hand side of the screen. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the final and the last and the most simplified ratio, which is made of whole numbers on both sides, is 11 to 5, which means that for every $11 collected by the food and drink stalls, the game stall collected $5. That brings us to the end of this word problem, which I hope you understood and I hope that now you'll go and uh, do some practice as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.